Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another video. As quite a few people have wrote in and asked us how I try my mill machine. That is to say how I line up the head of the mill machine with the bed of the mill machine, the head to the table. It's very important that the head is square to the table for ordinary milling. Now the first thing you must do, you must make sure that the, the bed of the machine, the table of the machine is clean. You run your hand across it and feel there's one or two imperfections. There's a couple of marks on here. And what they call witness marks, what I call, what I call where some clumsy bastards caught it with a, with a cutter. Anyway, all wrong when I bought it. What I do, I give the machine a hoover off. I put a little bit of light oil on, just plain cutting oil. Then I use a stone, just a fine stone. I keep the stone pure and simply for doing, for doing this with, and just gently. And evenly and make a circular motion and all this does is it just takes off any little dings, any little high spots See that's that student's kept, that's that's all it's used for. That feels quite nice. That's various things you can buy uh, to go into a chuck or into the quill to do the trimming with. Some of them are got two clock gauges on. I've got a homemade thing, very simple, I'll show you what I use. Just a bit of key steel with a bit of silver steel pressed in. That goes into the chuck. Right, so all I do, I'm going to use the magnetic clock gauge that we, we did last week. That'll be plenty of fuel for what we've got to do. And as you can appreciate, if you're sweeping this around the table, it's going to dig into the into the slots where the clamp down bolts go. So what I use I use a brake disc or a brake rotor. It's brand new. Um, I, I work in the motor trade, that's what I do. So I went to the parts factor, we'll get our parts off and I says have you got a, an obsolete brake disc? And I got this one, he, he gave us it. We'll centralise that. You see, I'm turning, I'm turning the, the pulley on the top of the machine by hand, make sure the machine's unplugged, and there's no chance you're hitting the switch and set the machine away. Right, I'll fix the camera in a bit closer, and we'll see how how far out the machine actually is. Right, I've got the brake rotor on. I've got the DTI touching it and set the zero. I've got a mirror here so you can see the see the back of the gauge. I've got the machine unplugged because I want to turn it by hand. So we'll turn it round. And it's given a reading of 15 thou. The machine was actually dead too, but I took it out of truth just for the, the purpose of this demonstration. So we'll go back to zero again. 15 thou. There's actually a graduation on here in degrees. There's also four four nuts that clamp it because the head can tilt. So all you do just Loosen, the, loosen them off, not fully loose, just to leave a, leave a nip on them, it's totally I say it as well. And that'll allow the head to tilt that way and that way so we can get what tramming done. Right, I've got the, I've got the bull to clamp the head loosened off but still knit so all I do I gently tap it
We'll go back to that side. We'll set our zero again. Back round. Now we're in well within five thou. Back to zero. Still five thou. Set zero there, and that's absolutely blob on. Right, what we'll do, we'll nip up the nip the bolts up and check it again. We've got it set nice and run nice and true now, so we we'll nip them up each one a turn, give each one a little nip, go all the way around until they're all, all snugged up nice and tight, and then recheck it. Right, I've nipped the bolts up on zero, mm, it's, within, it's within half a thou. Which is plenty accurate enough for what? What I'm going to be doing with it. Right, we'll check the other way, what I would call the nod, that's the, the head tipping back and forward. My clock on zero. We'll turn it around. And it's actually, it's absolutely spot on now. Make sure we're getting a, a true zero. Zero there. Zero there. You can see I've got a, a six inch spacer, six inch riser block in the Miller machine. Uh, when I first put it in, that was actually four or five thou of outer truth on, on the on the on the head. So what I did, there's a very, very thin shim underneath there. Uh, I'm not going to take it out, it took us a long time to get it right, but that's how you that's how you adjust it. You put a shim either in the front or a shim in the back to adjust the, adjust the nod of the head. Right, thanks for watching. I hope that's explained a little bit about how I tram the head on the milling machine, and taking some of the mystery out of it. Uh, get yourself a, an old break, an old, a brake rotor. Ground finish, absolutely more accurate than anything I'm going to be likely to do. Once again, I've used the, the DTI gauge with a with a magnet on. Very, very worthwhile tool to make. Put a clock here, John. There, bastard. There, hi, my name's John. Welcome to another video. Quite a few people have asked us how I tram my lathe. The milling machine, man, tit. <laughs>